Good morning. <clears throat> Four eyes, tinsel teeth, twiggy, slowpoke, baby, nerd, freak, weirdo, carrot top. Just a few playground words you might recall from school. I remember them. They hurt. Perhaps they were directed at you or the person standing next to you or even by you towards someone else. I would doubt that any of us here today were exempt from either side of this playground exchange. These words might not be the worst things you or I experienced, but I went easy this morning. We all know more damaging words, words that are exclusive, culturally divisive, stereotyping, racially assaulting, and derogatory. Words that can last a lifetime, cause pain, psychological damage, lead to harmful behaviors, poor self-esteem, self-doubt, and more. Why am I standing in church on Mother's Day, raising the topic of what happens on the playground, or in a school hallway or bathroom? Let me back up a bit and I'll explain. In the spring and summer of 2020, with protests rolling across the US in support of Black Lives Matter, a small group of people from First Parish gathered to discuss what was happening and to begin sharing resources and an education process. We came from many backgrounds and have a variety of social justice concerns. For the past two years, we have had discussion groups, read books, watched videos, attended conferences, joined organizations, written letters to our political representatives, talked about current events, and expanded our knowledge and learned a lot about ourselves. The group has become known as Justice Journeys, and each of us is on a path that often intersects with others and is very supportive of all who come to our meetings. One of the many things we have discussed is how to take on action, either individually or together, on one of our many interests. Rich Lewis and Lee Kirshner shared information last winter about Wabanaki Reach and legislation that is underway in Maine to reinstate the rights of Maine's indigenous people. Rich Kilmer and others are focused on environmental action and they shared their steps and activities just a few weeks ago. Lee Kirshner and others are beginning to plan for an adult mission trip, most likely to occur next spring. The proposed focus would be the Civil Rights Trail which encompasses various states and sites and teaches the history of civil rights in the United States. This could include sites in Maine, New England, and as well as the South. You can contact Lee, she's here today, um, if you have questions, so it's just a little plug for that ahead of time. But I've struggled to find a way to help. A full-time job and some other personal interests make evenings pretty precious. A few months ago, I received a newsletter from a local yarn shop they shared some information about an organization called Hat Not Hate and indicated there were, they were a drop-off point for donations, so I decided to learn a little more. Upon visiting the website, I found that the organization hatnothate.org, hat <laughs> too many letters in there, were founded by a woman named Shara Blumenthal. In fourth grade, she had encountered these same playground words that hurt so much so that at the end of the school year, her mother moved her to a new school. And at age 29, she heard about another nine-year-old who was being bullied. So in 2018, she decided to create an anti-bullying campaign called hashtag hat not hate. And as I mentioned, bullying is a universal social justice problem, an epidemic that seems to have no antidote. Around one in four of our youth in the United States is bullied and recurring bullying can lead to depression, anxiety, and suicidal behavior. The concept of hashtag hat not hate has been to get knitters and crocheters to knit, crochet, and loom blue hats. Why blue? Blue represents awareness and solidarity and is the color to wear in support of the bullying prevention. And once these hats are knitted, they would be donated to schools across the country. We also have, um, they also have a program where they're going to work with the schools to present an assembly in the month of October, which is National Bullying Prevention Month. The hats will be brought to the event for students to wear throughout the month, empowering them to be strong and stand up for bullying, and to feel encouraged by the love and purpose 
with which these handmade hats are created. Since the inception of Hat Not Hate, they have collected over 90,000 hats, and it is my hope to help augment that number. After reading their information, I decided that I could be an armchair social justice worker. My free hour in the evening is usually spent watching TV or listening to a book and knitting. It is a meditative practice for me. I've already started on my blue hat collection, and if you would like me, like, like to join me, I can share the link to their website that hat.hate has provided that has free patterns with the support of Lion Brand Yarn. If you don't knit or crochet, there's a loom kit you can purchase and loop your way around that to create a hat. You can also join some of us on Tuesday evenings at Yarmouth Community Services Knitters where you might find some support for your skills. I will set up a collection point in the church and take our donations to Knitwit in Portland. It's a great way to make a statement and help our educators, parents, and students take a stance against bullying. Hopefully those lessons learned in the early years will continue forward and make this next generation more inclusive and lead the way to social and racial equality to which many of us aspire, but, not, not, but may not see achieved in our lifetime. If you're interested in other aspects of our Justice Journeys group, please join us on Tuesday, June 7th. Lee Kirshner is planning on sharing some important information on the new Mainers joining our Yarmouth community and how we can help. Please join me in a prayer. We cannot merely pray to you, O oh God, to root out prejudice, for you have already given us eyes with which to see the good in all people, if we would only use them rightly. We cannot merely pray to you, O oh God, to end unjust acts, for you have given us Jesus, the greatest example of how we should care for God's beloved children, if we could only recall the lessons. We pray instead for strength, determination, and willpower to do instead of just pray. Amen. <laughs>